We begin with that somber gathering held for Malia Bass. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Sion Rhodes. And I'm Jonathan Martinez. A toddler went missing from an apartment complex in southwest Houston last Saturday. Tragically, officials now say a body found in the bayou 24 hours later is in fact her. Channel 2's Bill Barajas joins us live with a tribute to her young life. Bill, good evening. Good evening, and the family tells me that they actually got the news of her body being positively identified as they showed up to tonight's gathering. The news hitting many of them very hard tonight. Now, tonight's event is now over, but some of the folks here still hanging out. You can see them there just behind me. Many of them telling us they won't stop until whoever's responsible is behind bars. This is wrong. Look at this photo. She was an angel. She was a saint. This is so wrong. Justice. It was what was on the minds of those here tonight. Loved ones being notified that little Malia Bass's remains were identified. We know now that that was our Tootie. Tootie, as she was known, forever remembered for that big, beautiful smile. Tootie touched a lot of lives all over the world. And I know a lot of people are hurting, but I want the city of Houston to know that we will get justice. For Malia. The two year old's memory bringing smiles to everyone's face as Grandma Rosalie Jimerson detailed their special bond. Everywhere I go, she follows me, and she was so camera ready. You got, you put up a phone, you put up a camera, she's gonna strike a pose for you. <laughs> and I said, I'm gonna cheese real hard. What you gonna do? And she was like, there was also grieving, though. Loved ones overcome with emotion, trying to make sense of how this all happened. Little Malia disappearing from her home a week ago today. Her mom telling us she left her outside while she was cooking. When she returned, she was gone. A day later, her little body was discovered in Bray's Bayou. Grandma wishing she could have one last conversation. I talked to her on FaceTime. Her mom let me talk to her every day, and it would be... Hi, my Nana, and I'll be hi, my Tootie, and I'll never forget that. Just absolutely heartbreaking. Malia's mom was not here tonight. As you can imagine, the news is tough on her. The family now asking anyone who might have information in Malia's case to please come forward and call the Houston Police Department. Live in Southwest Houston, Bill Barajas, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Terribly sad. Thanks.